today, Satan. Not today, Nick. Not today, ankles. We don't have it. Questions. Where's my cocktail? Where? That's my opinion. All right. You ruined it. You ruined it. You did. Uh, what the f is this? The lies. There you the go. Lies. There you go. <laughs> you are the biggest bully in Hollywood, and everyone knows it. Before we start, it is time to give a shout out to our partners of this video and are the beautiful people of Jibu Beauty. They have an amazing skincare collection that will make your skin and your soul look amazing. Their personal mission in life is to make your skin glow. From the Super Duo to the Multitasking Tint Moisturizer to even their new Enchanted Bloom collection, everything that they offer is just perfection. So if you want to get your products, make sure to go to the link on the description below and do not forget to use my discount code ANDY15 and you will get between 15 and 20% off. So get your products right now. Jibu Beauty, inspired by dreams, made for reality. Hello, Overray Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy Overray Hills, and welcome to another piece of tea, literally on the, the go. Bitch, I mean, you know, like when you are down and sick, and the universe is like, well, you know what, you bitch, and we're just gonna throw you something else just to test you, and you're gonna say, like, not today, Satan, not today. But, anyways, my car broke down, so I have to come a literally here to the um, dealership, and they are looking into it, and they're gonna see what the hell is wrong with the car right now and I'm basically waiting like a thousand hours to see what is gonna happen next so anyways I was thinking in the meantime while I was waiting for uh, this whole thing to happen um, to just give you some tea because girl a scandal is still happening like uh, there is a lot of questions I'm sorry guys if I'm looking everywhere but they might be looking for me and I'm like in a little corner um, so anyways, yeah, so a scandal is still happening. There is a lot of shit going on and you know The world doesn't stop because my car is not working. So now we need to talk about this mess because apparently Raquel Rachel, you know Levi's which now we know it's actually Rachel. She literally just um, filed a restraining order against Sheena Shea, okay? And I'm like like shaking at this point. I'm like, how is this even possible? Not only that, the restraining order was actually granted. There is a lot of question of what is going on, you know? The rumor was that, you know, um, when Sheena was with Raquel in New York, waiting to, you know, watch what happens life and all of that. And then Ariana contacted Sheena and told her everything that happened. And that allegedly Sheena got so heated that she drag Raquel side to side no I'm just kidding but that you know there was some kind of like very intense altercation and that there was some kind of like physical altercation kind of thing going on there in New York and now you know because Rachel is trying to do the whole I'm a victim of the world you know kind of thing then she is filing for the restraining order look I'm so sorry, but that's a little bitch move, all right? I, I'm going to say it. If I was the one cheating on someone and then I got dragged for being a disgusting piece of shit liar bitch, I wouldn't be doing any of this, okay? I will be like silence. I will be saying I deserve this shit, okay? And moving on with my life. Second of all, there is a lot of reports but no reports, but how do I say this? Let's say that, you know, source close to the whole thing that it's saying that there was not an actual physical altercation, you know? I mean, we're, I mean, they're trying to make it seem like this was like a Candace Monique situation. And it, it was not like that. I'm thinking that it was more kind of like, remember when Stassi slapped Kristen in the face for sleeping with Jax? Something around that area. You know, so why? Why do the whole restraining order if it's not for keep playing this game of I'm just a little victim of life, you know, and poor me, poor me, you know, and um, it's just 
I don't get it, right? Um, at this point, the only thing that Rich Rachel needs to be doing is staying quiet, apologize, and kind of move on. All right. Now I know that Rachel already issued an apology, and we're gonna be talking about that on another video uh, later because I want to dedicate a, a video to that half as apology you know because it to me it didn't even make a lot of sense but now to try to go after sheena shea for something that you did look i know and i know a lot of you are gonna say like uh oh, let's not condemn you know violence and all of that and that is true but we also need to be realistic on the world that how things work you know i'm thinking i'm sorry but if if sheena is lapped slap you know um rachel on the face i'm not mad about it i'm not mad at china i don't feel that this should be that now what i'm thinking the, uh, instead is that this will be an excellent move because the reunion of vanderpump rules is set to be filmed in two weeks now with a restraining order how that is going to work out so to me it sounds like someone was looking for a way to not be at the reunion you know to not confront everyone in the eyes because she knows that everyone is against her and tom sandoval okay so this up uh, to me this this is cowardly okay to me this is like not taking any accountability so she I keep saying it. She was adult enough to be jumping from dick to dick, to have an affair with your one of your best friend's boyfriend, to do all of this. But you are not an adult enough to face the consequences of your actions, right? It it really it really kind of like bothers me a lot. And uh, I'm never. I don't think I'm never going to understand. You know, whatever she is gonna try to put out there. I don't care about love. I don't care about, you know, like circumstances, uh, the gaslighting thing that happened. I, I don't care about any of the thing because it is plain and simple. It was wrong. They were wrong, you know. And instead of apologizing, you know, and 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 and, and really mean it they just go out of their way to play victim especially rachel which is the worst part you know at least tom sandoval which also already issued an an, an apology to uh, ariana at least his apology was directly to her and kind of like more sincere but if you read when you, when we talk about rachel's apology girl it's all about i'm a victim i'm a victim poor me poor me oh my god i feel so like it's bad so anyways i i don't know let me know what you guys think on the comments below i don't know what is going to happen with the reunion i don't know wh why a restraining order i'm hoping that bravo fire her ass because you know that bravo doesn't like people going legal so i hope bravo fire her ass and let's see what is going to happen so if you want to get all the tea related to vanderpump rules and everything that is going on or the pop culture world well streets make sure to subscribe 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 and hit the notification bell and i'll see you all around see ya bye